Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonnell and it's the 11th of February. For your daily dose on what on earth is going on with Peter Molyneux, it's GameSpot News. And spoiler alert, it's nothing good. Remember his curiosity game, the one with the big cube that everybody was chopping into? And then he promised that the player that took out the final cube would get a life-changing prize? Well, it turns out he didn't. Brian Henderson, the 20-year-old kid who was promised all of this glory and a cut of Goddess's profits, has barely been able to get reply emails from 22 cans, let alone a penny in cash. He, in essence, won the game in May of 2013. He was supposed to receive a God of Gods title in Molyneux's new game Goddess that would enable him to have powers in certain multiplayer modes. Modes which, as you might remember from yesterday, have not and potentially will not materialize. Henderson has said that he has emailed 22 cans persistently every month and received no word as to what would be happening with his prize. Eurogamer contacted the studio for comment and Molyneux replied, he should have a contact here. That's pretty shoddy for us not to keep him posted. I totally and absolutely and categorically apologize. That isn't good enough and I'll take it on my own shoulders that I should have made sure he was communicated with. We will from today onwards do that. In slightly less cringy news, but only slightly, the first trailer for the upcoming Hitman movie, Agent 47, has been revealed. It looks exactly as blockbuster action film as you'd expect from Hollywood, although that doesn't really fit the Hitman game. Losing stealth bonuses doesn't seem to be worrying this version of Agent 47, and as many of you quite rightly pointed out, he's not going to get a very good score at the end of the level with all those antics. This is a reboot of the original 2007 Hitman film starring Timothy Oliphant, and the film stars Homeland's Rupert Friend and Zachary Quinto. And the drama over Evolved's DLC continues today, and it's probably not going to ease up for Turtle Rock, considering that it's now been discovered that all of Evolve's Day 1 launch DLC adds up to $136. That's $136 if you buy every piece of DLC available right now, on top of forking out an extra 60 bucks for the game. There are 44 pieces of optional DLC available at the moment, ranging from cosmetic skins costing you a few dollars, to the $25 Evolve Hunting Season Pass, which will eventually unlock four new hunters and some extra bits and pieces. All maps and modes for the game will be free in order to be inclusive of those who aren't interested in DLC. Parent company Take-Two has been super pleased with how DLC can deliver revenue for a long time after launch, citing GTA Online as a positive example of what chief executive Strauss Zelnick calls the gift that keeps on giving. Let me know down in the comments if you think DLC has gone too far or if you're a fan of it the way that it is. You can head to GameSpot for more news on things like a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie and our January Game of the Month. That is everything I wanted to tell you about today. Be sure to let me know what you cared about and catch me same time tomorrow for some more news.